Hey everybody, welcome back. Topic of discussion. Why do they want to get rid of us all? What is it about the elitists? And a lot of people speculate about this and a lot of people really believe this. Why do the elite want to erase humanity? Why do they want to get rid of us all? Why are they trying to poison us? Why are they trying to put us in a box, put us in a gilded cage, stick us in 15 minute cities, make us eat bugs, so on and so on and so on. What is the problem with these people? What is the issue with these evil geniuses, these modern day supervillains, as it were, as they are depicted, the George Soros's of the world, the Bill Gates of the world. And I have a simple solution for you. <laughs> I have a simple solution for you besides just being freaking evil. Okay, and this is speculation, of course. This is speculation, but I think it's something that a lot of people could readily identify with. See, at some point, and this is what I think, at some point, these individuals crossed paths with the last person that they could tolerate. Okay? Because you walk around, look around at people, and this is something I talk about in the podcast a lot, which is where this conversation comes from. People are not that smart. Okay? They're really not. And myself included, I've made enough mistakes that... I, I say that with a grain of salt, that people in general are not that smart. It's a miracle we've lasted as long as we have on this planet, okay? In addition to not being that smart, people are cruel, mean, angry, ugly, destructive, and dishonest, and on and on and on. I mean, I could pound out a list that would break your heart, okay? And you know this is true. Look around look around at how people are. They're hypocrites. They're awful. They're absolutely awful. With these people, they had that straw that breaks the camel's back moment with somebody, okay? And again, this is my opinion, that one person too many who lied about something that didn't need to be lied about, that one person too many that tried to hustle one of them, that one person too many that said something so incredibly stupid that they were just like, what the hell is wrong with people? We'd be better off if we had fewer of them out there. And by golly, I'm rich and powerful enough to make it happen. <laughs> that's what, I, that's it, essentially, I believe it. You see, we all are confronted with that. We all see that every day. We all see that with the people that we run into in the street. And especially me doing this here on social media, where people can see me and I can't see them. And they're protected by the anonymity of the internet and can say any stupid thing and do. They, they can't help themselves. They can't help but show their ass. Social media gives them a platform to show their ass and by God, they do it, and they fling crap too. And half the time are way off base with whatever it was that you were talking about. How many times have you seen it? Not just me, but all over the place. Stupid comments, ignorant comments, mean, cruel, unnecessary things, lies that make no sense. And, you know, you learn, unfortunately, to live with that. I have to live with it. I have to see it every day and, you know, you ignore the people and you go on or when someone tells you something, you, again, the analogy, take it with a grain of salt. Like, yeah, okay, because they're probably making it up. They're probably embellishing their experiences or full-blown lying about something to lend credibility to whatever their point is that they don't actually even care about which just adds to how dumb people are anyways. It's incredible. And by the way, academics has nothing to do with how intelligent someone is. Let's just leave that right there. But I'm willing to, I'm willing to bet with these individuals, there came a breaking point where someone said something to them so profoundly stupid or lied about something or tried to rip them or somebody off and they sat there or did something incredibly cruel 
and they had their Joaquin Phoenix Joker first film moment, <laughs> shall we say, the little blow up breakdown, and sat there and said, yeah, we'd be a lot better off without 95% of the population. Let me see what I can do. Let me look at my itinerary. Let me buy up all the farmland in the world. Let me try to fool them all into eating cockroach candy bars and drinking Ento milk. Ento milk. Look up Ento milk. Never ever drink Ento milk. <laughs> it's it's a soldier fly larvae. Basically, it's a maggot milkshake. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. But this is their solution. This is their solution because they're tired of y'all. <laughs> they, they're tired of you all. They've learned to hate you all because so many people are so dumb and cruel and dishonest. And instead of trying to use their wealth and power to improve upon humanity, they seek to erase it instead. Sad state of affairs, isn't it? Sad state of affairs. Plain God. Shame, shame, shame. But I just wanted to throw that out there. Just a talking point. Just me speculating, sharing an opinion. May not necessarily be the right one, but there you go. Thoughts? What do you think about that? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got anything out of it. Share it if you can. Probably the only way it will get seen. ScrewTube hates this channel. Subscribe if you're new. Check out some of our other content. Join us for the podcast. Typically Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this channel. And with that, what more can I say but stay tuned, folks. Because there is more to come unless the elite erase us all. <laughs>